Hello my friends, this is Mike from Seawater Pro. This is another video on how to connect the Leeson motor. All AC motors are pretty pretty much about the same. You just follow the schematic, which is printed either on the, uh, on the cap, sometimes it's printed on the motor. Just look for a schematic that looks like this. This one says low voltage and high voltage. Low voltage means 110, high voltage means 220, 230. So the numbers that you see on the, on the sticker are actually printed on the wires. Although they're all yellow, if you pay close attention, you will see numbers. And according to this diagram, we need to connect, uh, we're doing a low voltage installation and we're connecting one, three, eight, and nine, and that goes to line one, and then two, four, and five, that goes to line two. Because it is AC, it doesn't matter which one is the hot, which one is the neutral. Either way, it will not affect the rotation, it will not affect anything. So don't worry about the polarity. When it comes to AC motors, there is no need to worry about it. So here I have connected the uh, wires as per the label for 110 volts. Then we have the, uh, the protector, which, are, which comes with your kit, which threads at the bottom of this and then you take a pair of pliers and you snug it and then you take this out there is a there's a collar in here you run the cord through it i'm sorry you put the nut first then this and then all these go through here then you just tighten the cap what this does it it keeps us from accidentally yanking the cable out there's this thing is not going anywhere you can lift the whole motor and it also seals this port with this uh, gasket and so this way we'll never get any water in there so again I said the polarity does not matter so either one black or white One goes here. Like this. And the other one here. And again, remember, it doesn't matter. It is AC. It's called alternating current. So it has no polarity. It switches between the two all the time. So this is again the 110 setup and the ground will go down at the bottom of the motor there is a green screw that's where the green cable goes and that concludes the how to wire a seawater pro ac motor thank you for watching